What's up gamers, I'm Space Scarlet and today I will show you how to make a true hot rod out of your Starship in the patch 3.21. Here is what you need to be a successful ship modder in the current patch. First, a donor ship. This is the ship you will take a turret from. Our team prefer hurricanes and hammerheads, but feel free to experiment. It is all about your creativity. Second, a vulture. As far as we know, only the tractor beams attached inside of the salvaging module are able to perform these actions. Third, the patient ship. Any ship you would like to try and swap turrets at. Fourth, the optional requirement is to have an 890 jump to be able to fit more turrets on more ships due to the old trick of ignoring the physical collisions. All of this started when someone showed a video of changing the gun on the iron with size 7 from the Ninja's turret. And the moment we did that, I was like, hold my beer. Here is a quick instruction on the basics of the procedure. First, unlock the ports on both donor and patient ships, but keep the shields up so the tractor beam cannot snap onto the main body. Second, empty the donor turret slot by attaching the tractor beam to it and dragging it out. Third, remove the desired turret from the donor ship and drag it towards the patient ship. Fourth, when the turret will get close to each attachment point, the yellow ghost will show up showing the proper position. You have to rotate the turret until the ghost goes green and release it. Done. Yes! All right, let me hop in. No, no, don't, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch it, Derek. I want to see it. Don't touch it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I want to see it, bro. Oh my God. Oh, that's how a Vanguard should look like, bro. I have the charge. Oh my god, it works! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. If the turret is colliding with the ship and you cannot position it properly, you will have to use the above-mentioned 890 jump trick to overcome this. The trick is to put the turret low enough around its hangar so it is considered the part of an 890 jump physics grid, while keeping the patient ship outside of that grid. When it is done in a proper way, Objects in the different grids have no collisions between each other. When you're happy with your mod and you want to actually save the ship, so every time you claim it, you have the turret, fly your ship back to station and store it. After storing, remove any component and save the ship. Put the component back and save it again to revert the component change. Boom, your ship is now saved with this turret until the next account reset. The last few things you want to hear about before proceeding. First one, majority of turrets taken from the ships with internal interior will suffocate you if you're using them on the non-original ships. For example, the hammerhead turret mods on a Corsair are usable only in a breathable Atmo. Doesn't matter if you wear a helmet or not, it will still suffocate you. And dead. That is one of the reasons why I love the Hurricane turret, as it doesn't have this effect. Second one is when you enter a modded turret, the only way to get out is to go back to menus. Part of the crew, part of the ship, they say. The exception we found was a hurricane turret installed on a vanguard or a gladiator. And this is pretty much all in short you have to know about it. As an example, here are some ridiculous cool, funny and actually effective mods we did ourselves. Check this out, the Corsair with hammerhead turrets, Connie with hurricane turrets, this is my favorite one, the Vanguard with the hurricane turret. It looks so natural, like it was born to be so. Of course, the Gladiator with the hurricane turret, this is all crazy. We even managed to swap the default main guns of the Vandal size to the pair of the size 5 ballistic repeaters. Of course, my beloved uh, Cutty Blue with the hurricane turret. Overall, I find this to be a fun part of the development of the game. Seeing how bugs and unplanned connections can bring the new emergent gameplay to life, this is all so cool. Obviously, this is all unintended though, and it is confirmed to be fixed in the next update already, so just use this opportunity to get creative and have fun with it. And for today, this is all. It's been me, Space Cutlet, and I will catch you in the verse. 
Cutlet out. <laughs>